these are Japanese persimmons. Uh, hachia, they're called, I call them itchy. And these are astringent. That means that they make you pucker if you were to eat them before they're totally ripe. They're kind of big. And um, if you were to take a bite into this one right here, you would probably regret it. This is the same persimmon, but it has gotten to the point where if I were to squeeze this, it would just, it would squirt everywhere. It feels like a water balloon. And that's when it's ready to eat. And so, so many people don't know how to eat these persimmons. And I'm afraid with the itchy or the fuyu persimmons, um, because they don't know when and how to eat them, they don't, they don't really realize just how awesome these guys are. But I wanted to take a little bit of time to show people how to eat these. And um, the skins are really delicious. Uh, I might cut off some of the spots on them, you know, but I just wanted to show you how you might want to try eating one of these. I mean, they are the consistency of jelly, but they're to the point right now where you can slice them and, uh, <laughs> and they are so good. I'm just going to let you watch me enjoy eating this guy. These are very sweet and very delicious. Mm. My wife does not like them at this consistency, but I think they're awesome. You ought to try getting one of these percent. Problem is, here's why you can't get them. You can't get them because they stay hard like this. And then in a few days when they start to turn, they become really soft. And after a few days, it's over. <laughs> it's over. So if I have friends that want one of these, the timing has to be just right. Just right. And, uh, but I could eat these. Oh my goodness. They are, so, they are so good. I'm just really enjoying this. Mmm. What do they taste like? They taste like persimmon. They don't taste like anything I've ever eaten, but they've become one of my most favorite fruits, and my tree is absolutely loaded. And so, what we're going to do, slice them up, and we're going to put them in a dehydrator and uh, dehydrate them. Mm. I'm so sorry that you can't be here right now sharing my persimmon with me. I would love to share it with you. And they are coming, they're coming uh, due. They're getting ripe as we speak practically. Mm-hmm. So, would you like to have one of these? You need to go to a nursery online and order a Hachia persimmon tree and a Fuyu persimmon tree. Because if you don't, you are so missing out. Now this is a Fuyu persimmon. I picked it early and uh, a little too early. It's got some green on it. I usually wait until they're all orange and even then they'll be hard, um, very firm, like a, like a firm apple. But even so, when they've turned completely orange, these are non-astringent so you can eat them right away. And my wife likes them when they get just a little uh, less firm, but uh, they still have a lot of juice in them. You bite into them and they drip juice. And uh, if you continue to let it go before you cut into it or eat it, they will take after a few weeks, they'll get softer and softer. And maybe after a month or so, they're really soft. 
And uh, maybe four to six weeks after they start turning orange, they will also be just like the uh, soft um, persimmon that I just showed you, the hachia. And uh, all the way through that process for the fuyu, you can eat these things all the way through that whole process. Uh, again, with the um, itchy, um, they're orange, and when they turn kind of reddish and get real soft, that's when you eat them, and you have to eat them then. Okay, so that's the fuyu and the hachia. Now you know.